Hey, church family, uh, we are obviously not Pastor Zach and Pastor Courtney, but it's Pastor Weaver and Pastor Jeff, uh, and we are coming to you uh, to present an idea to you. Yeah, first off, we love you, we honor you, we, we want to serve you. We put Jesus first, we want to put others second, and then it's really not about us, it's about the Lord. Absolutely. And so just always remember that a few months ago, several months ago, I was praying how do we get back to making Christian education a focal point and get back to our schedule before and I had an idea and I brought it to the pastors and we've had a lot of time over the months to discuss it. We discussed it with some leaders, with some, a few people and uh, you know, what, what do you think? And uh, we need your input. That's what we need. We need sincere because we, we, we want to make this decision um, with as much understanding as we can. And so we're asking for your input for idea. So prior to COVID, our schedule was 8 o'clock church service, 9.30 Sunday school, dedicated Sunday school time, and a 10.30 service. We went to three services. We've had kind of an unintended consequence that uh, Sunday school doesn't have a dedicated time in the middle. And so it's been a little bit wonky, and we've noticed that the attendance in Sunday school has suffered as a result of that. So we were thinking of an idea like what we had before, only with a couple of tweaks. Moving that schedule from 8 o'clock to 8.30, uh, 10 o'clock Sunday school, dedicated Sunday school time for everyone in the building at one time doing Sunday school, and then 11 o'clock service. So what, what, what my idea was in thinking that through is, is, you know, we definitely now have two different styles of worship and so forth and services, and all of them are wonderful. But I thought, what if we're all in the building at 830 in, in the new chapel, which it wasn't intended to be built for that, we have... The contemporary and in the sanctuary we have our blended service with our choir and then and then we're together for Sunday school at, at 10 and then we do a, a repeat at 11 and I'm the one that thought of 8 30 and 11 because I've got a lot of feedback of man I really like to come early but eight's just a little rough and I got small kids I'd love to come at that hour eight eight thirty so much better and I've got feedback that a lot of people I just 10 30 is tough and I used to always get that why can't we have church at 11 so that's why the 30 minute change. But if you like the 11 o'clock service, right now you have one style to choose from. This way would give you an option exactly. of blended or contemporary. Yeah, so, you Both know. service times. Yeah, and so we're just wanting to get input because we know there's questions like, you know, who's gonna be preaching and are we gonna be uh, live streaming into the other building? And the intent is to have live preaching in both places and the same message, uh, two different pastors. Uh, and unless we have a guest speaker and then we would live stream that. So there's a lot of details, uh, things that we've thought through, questions that we think that you might have because we've had those questions. And so what we want is for you to be able to come to any of the pastors uh, to give us your feedback. We, we want to hear from you. If you have questions about any of that, let us know your questions. And, and uh, it's, it's taken us time to process and we want to give you time to process before we make this decision. And if we decide to do this, move forward, uh, it is not a permanent decision. We'll try it on and see how it works. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can always go back, but the, but you know, we, we really haven't made the decision. Right. So we're asking for your help and we're asking for you not to throw stones if you're the 7.30 in the morning guy that really wants church at 7.30 or you're the person that, you know, is like gotten comfortable at 9.30 and you don't want to come at 8.30 or 11. Please know it's only 30 minutes and uh, I hope that that somehow, if this is what we try, that everybody will work together, let's stay together. And our real heart is to bring that focus back to uh, studying the word together and being people of the right. word. That's been one of our core values from the very, very beginning and we wanna recapture and right. re refocus our vision toward that. So. Right, I mean, we're, we've been getting people saved, a bunch of people, all three services. Really, it's really amazing. But I, I will tell you that uh, we need to work on getting back in small groups, get fear out of our lives, get back to Bible classes and everybody engage. And those of you that have a gift to teach, we got a lot of spaces. Let's do this for Jesus, okay? Come on, church. Let's be the church. Give us your feedback. We want to hear from yeah. you. We Talk love to you. us. You're an amazing church. Talk we to him. You. Talk, ah! to him. Talk <laughs> to any of the pastors. Okay, right. bye guys. We love you.